Guys, this is Code Wish Art. Today we're going to be making this color picker game. So first, I'm going to show you how you use this project. So you can just select any color. And it will copy down that color. So first, let's create a new project. Now, you can get user choice of using pen or costumes so first I'm gonna do the pen one today I might make the, the non pen one in the next video but they'll both be really similar so first you need to make a make a square I'm making it 25 by 25 one green flag is clicked. Let's find a good position. Like right about over here. Y95 and X negative 160. There. And now I need to make the size bigger. I make a 49 or 49. I oh, know. I'm making a 33 or a 33. And when clicked, make a new variable called pick color picker. This is just, this is gonna make part of our color picker. And make it run without screen refresh. And now, when clicked, repeat for, we want to move 50 steps, and then turn 45 degrees. And you get, we're going to repeat that seven times. And under here, we're going to create a clan myself and move fifth and move 40 steps. I'm pretty sure. And now we do color picker. And all of this needs to be centered. And, and now duplicate this, change this to eleven. And now we need can do we can do some pen. So first here pen down, pen up right here. And pen down right here. And now let's see. Hmm. Get the problem. We first do erase all. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah. Hmm. So. Ooh, I'm gonna stick it. It's 90 degrees. That was the problem. 90 degrees. And we can also make it only move 10 steps and set the pen size to 100. Oh, no, not 100. 20. And we need to move the X to 130. Never mind, I'll just say 40. And oh, 
Oops. Didn't rhyme my mistake. We need to change change X by fifty. There. And now we can move this back to a negative hundred and sixty. Maybe farther negative hundred and eighty. Negative two hundred. I think we might change the size down to fifteen. Or maybe, yeah, 20. And change the spacing to 40. And now, negative 20. Let's see. Oh, I see my mistake. After the repeat 11, we need change. We need to change y by negative 100. Negative 70 and then set x to negative 180. Now, if we try, oh, hmm, oh, change the outside. Repeat to 7 and the inside loop to 11. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And change this spacing to negative 50. It might work. I might change it to negative 40. Do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Perfect. Now set pen size to oh, yeah where to set where to set that set pen color to one and then over here yeah, change cut color of pen right over here by one so change. And now, ta-da, it's, and we can change this to, change the x to a negative 190 to make, to make it look a little bit equal. And down here, negative 190 to make it look a little bit more equal. And we can change the x to 90. To make to have some little more space to put our circle here, and now you can show the sprite again. As you see, these are all the clones that we we were making. The clones are a little bit too big, so I'm gonna size it down to. Twenty-six. Oh no, I need to make it a little bit smaller. And you can change it to twenty, twenty-five. You can change the pixels twenty-five by twenty-five if you followed everything so far. And now, when I start out as a clone, we want to. First, take this out before we change x by 40. We want to create a clone myself. And now, if we see it's aligned better, and now we need to do change x. By negative 10. And now if we see, I, I mean, I meant negative 8. Wait, no. That was a mistake. When you put it out, when I start out as a clone. 
change y by negative 8, change by x by negative, negative 7 instead, 5. And then, I'm going to start as a clone, change y by 5, and then boom, you have it. And now we need a variable called color. And for this part only, And here we set color to zero, and we change color by one, right on top of, uh, right over here. Now, if we see, the color gets all the to seventy-seven, which is perfect because we have seventy-seven clones. And now, when I start out as a clone, set color effect color and now you see it's not perfect that's why we need to we need to do here instead of putting it where the clone is change color effect by two now it blends in like nothing's there And now, if forever and touching mouse pointer and mouse down set, we need to do pre color so the color, the color that's being previewed for all sprites. So pre color to color. And now let's finally make it a circle. Make it black outlined. Make the field to be nothing. And make the outline of 10. Make a fine square and position it. At, at somewhere around the top, and I do when clicked, drag and go to, and now we need to do pen down, pen down forever. Set color to to pre color and put the pen down right here. And now, if we select color, although our pre color is doing it, but the setting the pen color to pre color is not working. But it was seven color to one. Oh, we didn't set a pen size to anything. Let's say 20. Yes, now it's starting to show 50. You can set to 50 and it'll, it'll be perfect. Now we can go around selecting colors. And when, over here, when green flag is clicked, you, I'm going to just set pre-color to 1. So, so it always starts out as red. And one more thing before this video is done is that over here, our red thing still shows. So when green flag is clicked, hide. When I start out as a clone, show, and then, voila. 
you can uncheck your variables and then that is the end of today's project.